ask them, are you ready? What package are you ready to get started with today? With whoever got John, with, with John. What package are you ready to get started with today? And then they're going to tell us, well, you know what? I want to try the product first or, you know, I want to do a little more research. You know, we got the green people that just want to research everything all the time, okay? All right. No, no problem. Okay. But I'm going to tell you what. Before we finish that conversation, I guarantee you that we're going to give them something to think about. Well, listen, let me just let you know this. You do understand. I just want to make sure you fully understand the compensation plan, okay? Because you're a little undecisive on, on, you know, getting started. And they absolutely, well, listen, great. You know, and you understand time and their positioning. Because a lot of times, see, people don't understand time and their positioning. And so I just want to let you know that, you know, wonderful, try the product, but don't wait too long. Because John has some top positions that he's looking to fill. And you know what? The longer you wait, guess what? There's some people that could probably fall down below you and become a part of your organization. But every day that you wait because John is moving forward in his business, you're now going to become a part of those people's organization. So just remember that. And guess what? You don't know how many times people have called me back and they were ready to get started four days from now. They want to wait, get the tea, and, and, and try for five days. And then, you know what? We get a text message or a call from the person in our organization said, you know what? They got started today. Or you know what? They get they call me back the next day. They decide they're getting in today. They ain't even wait for the product. The power of the three-way call. Leverage your upline. Leverage your leaders. If you're connected to a leader that will answer your call, I want you to know you crazy. Crazy. Yeah, I'm saying it. Y'all crazy for not dialing your leader's phone number and leveraging them because you don't know and understand. See, may not know what it's like to be a part of, of, of companies and to look up and the very person that brought us into the business quit. Okay, not only that, forget about leadership. Are you serious right now? Could not even touch leaders. Okay? It wasn't until I got that connection with Coach Stormy Wellington that I was actually able to t touch an incredible leader in this industry. And that opened the door to being able to have a connection with some other leaders, but still couldn't dial their phone numbers. So I'm just saying, if you got a leader who will answer your call, leverage them. Leverage your upline leaders. Because now you're able to edify our story. See, now let me talk about edification real quick before we get off of here. Because edification is so key. If you want your leader's help in order to close the deal for you, you got to make sure that you edify your leader. Nate and I could tell immediately when somebody puts us on a three-way call if they have not edified us. Because that person gets on the phone as if they talking to the next man at, 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 at you know in the grocery store and there's no respect. They'll be in the store doing stuff, checking out at the counter time, and we're like, why are we on the phone? And I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all may think, Pam McCray, yes, I am. I'm very loving. I'm very nice. But disrespect me on the three-way call, and all of a sudden, I hear dial tone. And guess what? I'll be like, ooh, I don't know, T-Mobile. <laughs> Disconnect, because it's rude. So when you edify properly, this person is now going to get on the phone with that upline leader or that person that can help you close the deal. Don't have to, again, don't have to be a national, don't have to be a regional. It just got to be somebody who's plugged in and can help you close the deal. If somebody don't know how to help you close the deal, they ain't plugged in, you better learn how to move people out the way and get what you need to get in order to win over here at TLC. Okay? But when you edify properly, that person now is going to have a level of respect. For the person that you're putting them on the line with like oh my gosh thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule why because you edified our story i'm working with this young lady her and her husband amazing did some amazing things never earned a dime in this industry for 20 years got started over here at tlc became a quarter million dollar ring earner in seven months earned over six hundred and fifty thousand dollars their first year yeah i said it income disclaimer okay 
Income disclaimer, results not typical, but Nate and Pam McCray are not typical people. And you better believe that you're not typical in order so that you can win over here at TLC and get what you want. So remember that. Remember that you got to edify. See, there's something called the edification triangle. Okay? And when you edify properly and you set the tone for that call, guess what? you're going to get some positive results out of that call. And that person will no longer have you dangling like a little pendulum. Because now, they're either going to say, by the end of that call, you know what? I'm going to get started now. Or I am going to get started. Listen, I get paid on, on Friday if they just absolutely got away. But at least now, you know exactly what their intention is. Instead of just calling them back every, every, every couple days. And they're not answering your call. Or they keep putting you off and putting you on hold. Or I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back. No. Now you now you got a solid answer. Okay. But yes, edify, edify, edify. That edification triangle is very, very strong. See, the person may, may um, trust you. They trust you. Okay. Because they either know you somehow. You put them in front of the information. So you built a level of trust with them. But they may not respect you in order to be that person to help them to build a business like this, especially if you're new or you may not have the results that you, you know that you, you know that you're gonna get yet. So now, when you put them on the line with, with your upline, who can now help you to close the deal, and you edify properly, they're gonna have a level of respect. So they trust you on this level, but they don't, they don't respect you in order to take them up to the level that they wanna get. But now, when you put that trust with that respect and you connect it all together you know the triangle can't do it because i'm holding the phone okay you connect it all together now it bridges the gap in order to where wow you got that trust and that respect all on one line and guess who's in between there you we're gonna give it right back up to you so what does that do for you it validates you Absolutely, let me tell you, you connect it with a powerhouse in our organization who's serious about getting it done over here at TLC. Not only do you have them and you're connected to that particular person, but guess what? You got Nate and Pam McCray, who your success is our success. So we operate as a team over here. So I just had that on my heart today. You know, wanted to drop those nuggets because I think that not enough people leverage their upline leverage the power of who they're connected to in order to get this thing done over here see we don't have time to 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 play games in tlc we got to know that the time is now ladies and gentlemen the stage that we are in how long you've been apart one year one year tlc just celebrated our 14 months at total life changes so i love you too hey hey rachel Hey, hey, hey. So, absolutely. Gwen, Gwen, Gwen. But, um, so anyway, just wanted to share that. I had that on my heart today. You know, um, leverage your upline. Leverage the power of the three-way call. And let's get this thing done over here at TLC. All roads lead to New Orleans. I hope y'all excited. Y'all give me some hearts. Y'all excited? I want to see hearts. Where's the excitement coming across the screen? Hearts, hearts, hearts. More hearts. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, stop dangling. Leverage the three-way call. Leverage, leverage, leverage. You're welcome, Alicia. Alicia, when you going to New Orleans? What day? That's right, that's right. So, anyway, guys, headed into this mall now. So, just remember that. Remember what I said. Nicole, hey, super excited, can't wait to see you. You're welcome, you're welcome, absolutely. Our goal as leaders is we want to see you win. Trust me, you don't know how badly your leaders want to see you win. And that's the reason why we give of ourselves. Because we know you can do it. We know you can do it. All you got to do is believe and go to work and make this thing happen, all right? All right, y'all. Love you. Bye. I think we at the mall. All right. Time to shop. Nate's about to have fun, right? Hi, Nate. Say hi. <laughs> All right. Right. All we do is win, 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 no matter what. Got TLC on our minds. We can never get enough. Right? <laughs>
<laughs> All right, yeah. Bye-bye.